Servicing a PAR mag drive is an important operation, as the mag drive is one of the few moving parts on a reactor which is also pressure retaining. Standard maintenance should be performed at least annually unless severe operating conditions or poor performance warrant more frequent service. Signs your magnetic drive needs servicing include excessive lateral or axial play in the stirrer shaft, labored rotation or excessive debris inside the reactor cylinder, evidence of leakage into the confined space between the inner and outer rotors. This video will cover the rebuilding of the consumable parts in a PAR magnetic drive. Please be sure to do this service on a clean vessel that is free of any possible contaminants. Be certain that all pressure has been released from the vessel and be sure to wear proper safety glasses. Serious injury could result if the user attempts to do this work on a vessel under pressure or in an unsafe manner. The consumable parts to be replaced are the O-ring seal, both thrust washers, three bushings, the sealing gasket, and the cooling jacket O-rings. First, the head should be removed and brought to a suitable workbench with a vise strong enough to hold the unit. Here are the tools you'll need. A pair of dental tools makes removing the various O-rings easier. Secure the unit into the vise using a shop towel to prevent damage. Using an Allen wrench, remove the four screws that hold the cover in place and lift it off, exposing the top plug. Also available for all stirred reactors is a vice-mounted service fixture. This fixture securely holds the vessel in place and allows easy access to all of the service areas. Next, unscrew the lower shaft assembly from the magnetic drive. If the shaft cannot be unscrewed, remove the impeller to gain clearance and leave it in place. It can be removed later. Using two flathead screwdrivers, remove the snap ring that holds the ball bearings in place. Now lift up on the outer jacket. You'll need to overcome the force of the magnets. Using a nut driver, remove the two cooling jacket inlets. Then using the supplied spanner wrench, remove the magnetic drive unit from the reactor head. Secure the body of the mag drive in the vise using either our special fixture or a shop towel to prevent damage. The top plug should be removed using a face spanner wrench. Now reach in and remove the rotor and set aside. Remove the housing from the vise and tip it to remove the thrust washer. The top cap holds the top o-ring and the top bushing. Remove the old o-ring with a dental tool. PAR has available a tool that makes removal of the bushings easy. Simply twist on and pull straight off. The two lower bushings are removed in the same manner. They are separated with a simple spacer. At this point, it is recommended you surface the cooling jacket by removing the retaining clip and replacing the O-rings. It is at this point that all consumables have been removed from the mag drive and reassembly can now take place. It is also recommended to thoroughly clean all surfaces, both inside and out, before reassembly. Start by installing a new set of cooling jacket O-rings. Be sure to lubricate all O-rings before attempting to reassemble parts. Slide the cooling jacket on the shaft and apply the snap ring. Use the bushing tool to install two new bushings and the spacer in the lower mag drive housing. Install the first bushing. This may require a bit of force. 
Then install the spacer. And finally, the second bushing. Use the same bushing tool to install a new bushing in the top cap, then install a new O-ring. Drop a new thrust washer into the housing, reinsert the rotor, and then insert a new upper thrust washer. The cap is now ready to be installed and tightened with the spanner wrench. After securing the reactor head in the vise again, carefully remove the sealing gasket from the mag drive port. Apply a small amount of nickel-based grease to the bottom of the port and install a new sealing gasket. Carefully push it in so that it remains aligned with the port. Apply a small amount of anti-seize to the threads of the mag drive housing and carefully thread the mag drive assembly by hand into the port. Then securely tighten with a spanner wrench. It's time to put the outer jacket back on. Place the snap ring in position, place the lid on top, and temporarily attach one screw. Place the jacket over the mag drive housing. Because of the intense power of the magnets, you now need to remove the cap again and seat the ball bearing and snap ring. Seating is best done with a ball bearing installation tool, but can be done using a flat headed screwdriver. You can now replace the cap and tighten the four screws that hold it in place. It's now time to reinstall the two cooling jacket inlets. And finally, Reinstall the stirring shaft. If you require additional help servicing your PAR mag drive, or would like to purchase any of the special tools and fixtures used in this video, please call our world-class sales and support staff.